new raid new guide what's going on pack it's quacky here and today we're going in depth explaining how you can master the new laboratory raid inside of Krunker season 7 and get all the loot your heart desires to begin you will want to host your own raid lobby by clicking host game on the main menu click raid select laboratory and then start the game note that the server of the raid will go off of your server settings Ideally, you will want a decent sized party with you for this. I would recommend joining the Crumb Discord server if you are having trouble finding players to raid with. I will also be live on Twitch doing the raids from time to time, so you guys can stop by and see if we have some spots open as well. Links in the description. Let's start with the spawn room. In this room, you will find six pistols and one techie nine. And you're probably wondering, that's only seven weapons, and you can have eight in a raid. That means someone will be weaponless wrong when the match starts you can open up the back door where you will find an auto pistol and a crossbow the auto pistol is more effective than the pistol and the crossbow can be useful for taking out the scientists once your team is situated open the front door and drop down into the first boss room where you will be greeted by the guardian some stats about guardian x56 the boss has 10,000 health with their only method of attack being a projectile missile fired every 5 seconds that deals up to 65 damage directly along with splash damage that has a fall off. The Guardian is also accompanied by 4 scientists. Each scientist has 1000 health that takes headshot damage along with a fast rate of fire blaster which deals 3 to 4 damage per shot at 8 shots per second meaning each scientist can deal up to 24 to 32 damage per second. The most effective strategy here is to position your entire team into the close right corner of the room right underneath the scientist. Here you will be out of line of sight of the scientists and the guardians missiles. You will also want to make sure your group all drop into the room at once to avoid unnecessary splash damage from the missiles. Once you have eliminated the guardian, the middle floor will open up and you will be awarded one of the following items ranging from epic to contraband. At this time, we're unsure what the drop rates are, however, a lot of the community believes it's similar to Tortuga's rates. If that's the case, then we can expect the pistol to be a 1 in 1000 chance to obtain. Once you drop down, your team will be inside of a room filled with 7 zombies. Each zombie has 1500 health, dealing 10 melee damage at a relatively slow speed. No need to fear, however, go ahead and navigate to the red button as quickly as possible. As long as you're on top of the button, the zombies cannot damage you. Once up here, you will need a strafe jump to the vent across to progress to the next section. If you're a pro, you can also just slide hop on top of the button from the side. Once you're up, you will see the first of five blue cards needed in order to unlock the second boss room. It would be best to talk amongst your team as to who picks up the card, as this is the raid's only healing mechanic. Each card pickup will give the player 50 health, Something to note, if one of your teammates die and they picked up one of the cards, you don't need to worry about resetting as long as your team gets all 5 cards. Another important note is to the side of the room, if you do a simple parkour, you will find a revolver laying on the vent. Although not required, there is a slimer located in the container right next to that red button. If your team can quickly take out the 7 zombies, you can hold mouse 1 on the button and the glass container will disappear and one player will have a slimer with 2 shots, which can be helpful for the parkour coming up. Continuing on, you will see a door that can be opened. As soon as you open it, you will encounter one scientist. Once you eliminate them, the second card will be on the right side. There is also a shotgun located to the left side of the door near the railing. Once your team has taken out the first scientist, there will be one more scientist across the hall, so make sure to also take them out. Now arguably comes the hardest part of the raid, the dreaded line parkour. Don't worry though, I got you covered. The best way to tackle this parkour is by following this quick slide route, where you jump on the square platforms. If you would like to practice this without any interruptions, then make sure to check out lab practice linked in the description. If some of your teammates are struggling, you can also use the slimer to help your team jump over those thin lines. Once you've crossed that section, going up the stairs you will see a stack of boxes where you will find the FAMAS. I would 100% recommend that one of your teammates grab it. Now you'll run into another two scientists. Go ahead and take them both out. 
Then to the left, you will see a simple parkour along with water where you will find the third blue card needed to progress. Have one person make the way across. Do note the water does instantly kill you. Once you grab that blue card, you will also find the semi-auto laying in the corner. There will also be an alien blaster located right at the end of the room. Now onto the next room, the maniacs. To be honest, I could give a rundown of, of these guys, but they aren't really that big of a threat. All you really need to know is that yes, they have 900 health and they have a shotgun, but they really can't hit the side of a barn unless you're like really up in their face. You can simply just run right past them and pick up the fourth blue card inside of the small room to your left. Next room we have is the sewers. You can kill the scientist behind the fence entrance and you won't take any damage. To your right, you will find the last blue card needed to unlock the gate ahead. And to your left, you will see the RPG, which to be honest is not that effective at all so no one really needs to grab that. However, something your team should pick up is the AK, which is located on top of some boxes right before entering the final room. Go ahead and enter the final room by climbing up the ladder to begin battling the final boss, Dr. Krunk. Some stats about Dr. Krunk, he has 25,000 health with no critical spot. He has two attacks, one melee and one ranged. The melee dealing 30 damage and the ranged attack dealing 40 damage with five damage over time along with a zapped effect that nerfs your movement for about five seconds. There are also two more scientists and two more zombies guarding the doctor. To begin with defeating the doctor, have you and one other person call out which scientist you will take. You want each person to take out their scientist to then begin kiting the doctor around the room along with those two zombies until you can take out the zombies. Once you have taken out the zombies, get the doctor's attention and bring him to this corner of the map near the fans. Hug this wall, and if done correctly, the doctor will get stuck on the edge and your teammates can continue to deal damage to the doctor until he is taken out. I do want to note, there is another spot right at the entrance. This one is good if you have more teammates behind you who are lower health, as they can help take out the doctor from above. There is also one more spot located in the far right corner. After defeating the doctor, you will be granted a random item ranging from epic files to a contraband SMG or desert eagle. You will also see that the final room has opened up and you can hold mouse 1 on that red button to end the raid. If you guys found this useful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend.